Terry, and watch. Those are the words that Jesus spoke to these chosen men. And keep in mind that when Jesus goes to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray, he took with him men who have been with him from the beginning. You go back to the early days when Jesus began to call his disciples, Peter, James, and John, and uh, they are the ones that he chose to be with him during this tremendous experience that he's about to go through there in the Garden of Gethsemane. I often think about this because I realize that, uh, that this battle that took place in the, in the heavenlies here, such a momentous time in history. And uh, it's, it's mindful of the experience that Daniel talks about when he's praying the 21 days and, and, and uh, nothing's happening. And then finally, uh, Gabriel breaks through and he, and, he, and he brings in the message and he says, God heard you on the first day, but there's been a tremendous battle taking place up there in the spiritual world. And Michael is up there even now holding back the Prince of Persia. And I think this is very mindful of, of, of what we're, we're talking about here. A great spiritual battle. I, I alluded to this yesterday. I believe that the, that the hell brought in all of its resources. I mean, it brought in every resource it had. The battle lines were drawn. And uh, spiritual war was taking place there in that garden. And so Jesus has said to these men, he says, tarry and watch. In other words, be alert, be aware, this is a spiritual time. This is when the heavenlies are very, very active. And there are things going on in the spiritual realm, and you need to be aware, and you need to be ready to do battle. Well, you see, this is what happens when we find ourselves in situations where we're dependent on flesh, because flesh is weak, we know this, flesh will fail. And it hurts. If you are, are a person in, in leadership and you have people that you've come to rely on and then somehow or another they, they fail you or they, they somehow or another they, they turn against you, it hurts. I mean, it's, it's a very painful thing to have to experience. And uh, here Jesus going, fixing to face the most difficult thing that he's faced. I mean, you go back to the wilderness experience, and that was a tremendous, tremendous spiritual battle. The angels were dispatched to, to help him to be able to endure that time. And now the stakes have been raised. I mean, it's, it's even a, a greater spiritual position that he finds himself in. And he's called on these men, and they fail him. You see, we, we have such a beautiful example given to us here because ultimately, what did Jesus do? He forgave them. That sets the pattern. That sets the example. When people fail us, we forgive them because that's what the Lord has taught us to do. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.